Today we're talking about a workhorse on the station, the Microgravity Science Glove Box. And it is what it says it is. It's a box with gloves, but it has a whole lot more importance than that. Lee Jordan is the project manager for the Microgravity Science Glove Box here at Marshall. And Lee, first of all, tell us about the longevity of the Microgravity Science Glove Box. Yes, thank you. Uh, the uh, Microgravity Science Glove Box uh, was launched in 2002 on UF2. So it's been operating now for over 14 years and it's been very successful. So what types of experiments have we handled inside the glove box? Well, Lori, we've handled combustion payloads. We've handled 3D print payloads. Uh, we've handled fluid dynamics payloads. Uh, and these payloads came from across the center. Uh, also, uh, we have international partners that, that perform science inside the microgravity glove box. And we have to perform those type of experiments in there so that those particles and pieces from 3D printing and all don't get out into the open station. And, and that's the main purpose of the Microgravity Science Club box is to provide levels of containment. Uh, those levels of containment are through seal barriers and then also through airflow, which gives us negative pressure inside the work volume as compared to the cabin uh, pressure. And it's really like I said, been a workhorse. I mean, you've got things backing up trying to get in there, right? Well, that's correct. The, the, the uh, MSG stays um, uh, utilized uh, almost 99% uh, of the time. And we monitor and we can send commands from right here at Marshall, a right? Ab absolutely. We, uh, we, can, we can send commands, we can receive telemetry, and the MSG has a new video system where we have state-of-the-art video, and uh, we can also see high, high definition got to keep up with that high def stuff but you also have to keep up with the pace and there is something new Yancey Young is here now and he's here at Marshall and you're the deputy project manager for microgravity science glove box and now the new life, life sciences, sciences glove That's box correct. so tell us about that hardware I understand what is big brother to microgravity well, I, I think of it as the younger sib younger but bigger sibling to the <laughs> MSG it was uh, originally developed specifically for life science investigations. So they took lessons learned, they developed MSG, applied those to LSG. So we're bigger, um, by almost uh, seven cubic feet. We have a large front door that opens to allow easy access into the work volume, which was one of the things the life science community was really looking for. And we can also accommodate up to two crew members simultaneously can perform investigations within the work volume. And then there are magnetic surfaces on this as well. That's correct, Lori, because that was another thing we've learned in the past with MSG doing life science investigations. The, the scientists are very concerned with contamination in the work volume. And with MSG, they were using inserts and fasteners to secure uh, hardware within the work volume. And that was a concern for contamination. So the LSG, they did away with all that. They're going to use uh, magnetic surfaces. And a big thing for NASA right now is to repurpose hardware, and that's what we're doing with this. That's correct. Big Brother was, uh, was uh, built, but never had the opportunity to fly back mm -hmm. uh, several years ago. So with the log jam or backlog with MSG and the importance of both physical and life sciences, the ISIS program decided to bring it out of the closet and give it its, its chance. And it's going to be in a place really that wasn't really intended for it, so you guys are doing a lot of work to make that fit. Yes, that's correct. One, one of the, uh, I guess, selling points or benefits of LSG is it's going to be um, installed in a zero, sto zero gravity storage rack on orbit. So it won't have the traditional um, avionics of a typical payload or rack facility. We're actually going to be connecting over to an express rack across the aisle from us in the gym and rely on them for some power as well as communications. So where are we along the way in seeing this on station? We should be on orbit and operational in calendar year uh, 2018. Yeah, just around the corner. It is. You're the hardware man, you're the science man though, Lee, and because you had that backup in the microgravity science glove box, and a lot of rodent research is another thing. You talked about the physical sciences, but rodent research, so that's going to alleviate some of the backup that you guys have, but you're still going to be very busy. Yeah, absolutely, Lori. Uh, the life science uh, glove box will handle most of the biology payment uh, payloads, so that'll be, the, that'll be the main goal of it which will free the MSG back up for its original purpose, uh, which was uh, physical science. And we have physical science payloads already in the uh, timeline for it to operate then.